This video is a demonstration of how to use the serial monitor to input text to the Arduino, i.e. to control the Arduino with your keyboard. So here we have an Arduino and it's hooked up to a breadboard, it's giving it 5 volts and ground, and we have R, G, and B LEDs hooked up to pins 7, 6, and 5 respectively, and a servo connected to pin 9. It's going to be really helpful if you already know how a servo is controlled by an Arduino, and we have a video for that. So I'm going to move these up, and since this video is all about code, let's open the code editor. And we have some intro here, and I'm going to walk through that. I'm going to open the serial monitor, and I'm going to show you how this works. If we type R and hit send, we'll start the simulation first. If we type R and hit send, the red LED lights up. If we type G and hit send, the green LED lights up. And if we type B and just hit enter, the blue LED lights up. And then I can turn them off individually also, and the order doesn't matter. Okay, we also have a servo. Let's get that on the screen. And if I type in a number, let's say 45 and D for degrees and hit send, the servo moves to 45 degrees. If I type in 170 and then I hit enter, and then I hit D, I hit enter, the servo will then move. It's waiting for us to type in the D for it to say, okay, that's the angle you want me to go to. And if I type in a number that's bigger than 180, so let's try 181 D and hit send, we get an error, must be less than or equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so let's talk about the code now. First, we're including servo.h so we can drive a servo. We're defining the LED pins. We're defining a variable called angle, which is what tells the servo to go to a position. We're setting its initial value to 90 degrees. And then we have another variable called next angle, which is what we use to build up the angle when we're inputting text on the serial monitor. Then we're defining the instance of servo, and we're setting our RGB LEDs to low at the beginning. And then in our setup, we're setting certain pins as outputs, and we're attaching our servo to pin 9. This is an alternate version of that line of code if you want your servo to behave slightly differently. That's covered in the servo video. And we are starting a serial connection. We use 9600 baud in 1, 2, 3 circuits. Now, in our loop, this is where the real good stuff happens. If serial.available, so this is if something has been typed into the serial buffer, write that as the variable called C, and that's a character. If C is R, then turn on the red LED. If the red LED is already on, turn it off. And we've condensed down the green and the blue versions of this into just one line. So if you understand how to read that, great. If you don't, you can use this version of the code. Now, to control a servo is a little bit more complicated. The way this works is we're looking for digits, and digits between 0 and 9 specifically. And if you looked up 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in an ASCII table, it would be ASCII 48 through ASCII 57. So we get in a digit, and we may be typing 0. When we type in 0, the Arduino thinks that's ASCII 48. We input a number. Let's say we put in 1. Then the Atmel is waiting to see if there's another digit. Let's put in 2. And what it does is it takes the 1 and it multiplies it by 10. And then the next number we input, which was the 2, is added to next angle so that now we have 12. And there's some math going on here that sort of explained that we're actually building a number between 48 and 57, and the math all works out. So after the Arduino has built up a number, it's waiting for a D. And if we type a D and hit send, we go through this bit of the code. So if the angle is greater than 180, it outputs this error. If it's less than 180, angle, which is what we use to control the servo, gets written as next angle. And next angle for us was 12. And then we go through the end of the loop and we clear this out. 
and we get ready for the next input. Now, angle has been set and we are ready to act upon the serial input we got. So we're going to write the value of high or low to each of the LED pins and we're going to write the value of angle to the servo. So servo one got right. We are mapping angle, which came from next angle, between 0 and 180, we're mapping that up to between 1,000 and 2,000. And those are microseconds, and those are what define the width of the pulse that drives the servo. And then we have, at the end, a delay of 5 milliseconds. And this is there because adding this delay to your code makes the simulation run faster. And we encourage you to take this circuit and build things off of it. So there you have it, serial monitor input. Go ahead, try it for yourself in one, two, 3D circuits.